Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 7th to the 11th of August 2017. Now, for those of you wondering why the forecast didn't go out on Sunday, it's because I was traveling and unfortunately I was unable to access the video equipment in order to do the Forex forecast. However, as you probably saw from yesterday, we had a Canadian bank holiday yesterday and we had a very low liquidity day. And in fact, it resulted in a lot of inside days. So there weren't really any opportunities to take yesterday. So with that said, what we're going to do now is have a quick look through some of the markets this week highlighting some of the key levels of support and resistance and also some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in those pairs. So let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. US dollar index. Now the US dollar index last week, we had a very good uh, news coming out for the dollar in the form of non-farm payrolls. And as a result, we broke above the 11883 which was a key level of support over here. And we also broke out of the downward sloping trend line that we had highlighted over here. So going into this week, we are looking for a continuation to the upside in the US dollar index. And we go into this week with a bullish bias on the US dollar index. You can see we are now forming a continuation pattern to the upside. And the targets we're looking for to the upside, first of all, are the 11,977. And then after that, we're looking up towards the 1200 psychological area on the US dollar index this week. Next, we are going to have a look at oil. Now, oil has been in an uptrend for a number of weeks, as you can see, making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And we've now entered into this corrective phase here, which we can highlight as a this corrective pattern as a triangle. And as a result, we are looking for a breakout this week in oil, and we are looking for more bullish momentum to come into oil pushing this to the upside and we're looking to initiate longs in oil plus we're also looking for strength to come into uh, the canadian dollar and the mexican peso as a result of strength coming into oil this week now we have two targets to the upside in oil we're first of all looking to the 50.524 and a kind of double top pattern like this but we're also expecting a break above this level perhaps some accumulation in this area and we're looking up towards an overall target on oil to the 51.840 area up here so just to confirm we go into this week with a bullish bias on oil looking for some strength to come into the canadian dollar the Mexican peso, and other currencies of countries which have a large oil output. So the first pair we're going to look at is the Euro US dollar. Now the Euro US dollar has been an uptrend, but as you can see, we had quite a significant sell off here from non farm payrolls last week. We are expecting further advances in the US dollar index. And so we are looking this week for potential shorts in the Euro US dollar. Now what we have here coming out of non-farm payrolls is after this breakdown we are now getting a pattern known as a bear flag and we're in this corrective phase here and we're looking ideally for a tag of the 1.18390 which is a key area of support looking to turn resistance a key area of support broken looking to turn resistance and we're looking to initiate shorts down towards the target of the 1.6850 so if we start to see bearish formations and patterns forming on the lower time frames, pretty much in the area we are now, we're going to look to initiate shorts. And the target on the euro US dollar is the 1.16850 to the downside. The next pair we're going to look at is pound US dollar. Now last week we had a big sell off in the pound and you can see that we started to get moves to the downside. Now this move to the downside was sparked by a decrease in the number of votes from the Monetary Policy Committee to increase interest rates. It went from three who were in favor of increasing interest rates last time to only two this time. Uh, and as a result, we had a big sell off in the pound. So this week we are looking to capitalize on pound weakness. And also we looking at the US dollar index, we can see some strength. So we should be seeing some further declines in the pound US dollar. Now we have a target to the downside of the 1.29150. 
And what we're ideally looking for is a pullback and a retest of the key level of support turning resistance at 1.31133. Now, if we get a pullback into this resistance area and we start to see bearish formations and patterns forming, we're going to be looking to initiate shorts down towards the target on the pound US dollar, which is the next key level of support and resistance at the 1.29150 area. Now, the next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now, Aussie US dollar has been in an uptrend, as you can see, and it looks like we are correcting this move down here. And we've just recently retested a key level of support at the 0 0.78984. So based on the technicals this week, we are looking for a bounce from the area where we are now and possibly even a breakout of the downward sloping trend line here. And if we get this kind of move and we get some strength coming in this area, we're going to start looking for bullish formations and patterns where we are right now. And if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to look to initiate longs up towards the target of the 0 0.81122 on the Aussie US dollar. Now, we are prepared to play Aussie US dollar both ways this week because we are expecting an increase in the value of the dollar index. Now, if that happens and we start to see a break down below the key level of support at the 0 0.7894, we're going to look for a retest of the support turning resistance and we will look to the target to the downside of the 0 0.77864. So as long as we stay above the 0 0.78984, we're looking up towards the 0 0.81122 and we're looking to initiate longs. And if we break down below this key level of support at the 0 0.78984, then we're going to look to initiate shorts down to the target of the 0 0.77864. The next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand US dollar. Now you can see New Zealand US dollar has been trending to the downside and we are currently in a downtrend here and we have this kind of corrective pattern here forming. As we are expecting the US dollar index to increase in value next week and to go up, we are going to be looking for the New Zealand US dollar to push to the downside and we're looking for a potential pullback and a retest of the confluence area of this downward sloping trend line and also previous broken support level. We're looking to become resistance and if we get a pullback into this area and we start to see bearish formations and patterns forming in this area this is going to be a great place to start to initiate shorts on this pair and we're going to look down towards the target of the 0 0.73250 please also bear in mind we have a new zealand interest rate decision tomorrow which is wednesday and if you're trading the new zealand us dollar or trading any of the new zealand pairs this event must be taken into consideration when you're planning your trades in those pairs as it has the ability to create a lot of volatility in the market. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie Japanese Yen. Now you can see Aussie Japanese Yen has been ranging between this level here and the key level of support and resistance at the 87,790 area down here. So as you can see, we are now at the bottom of the range and we are in an overall uptrend. So we're looking for a continuation of the overall uptrend in the Aussie Japanese yen. And now we also have a breakout of the downward sloping trend line denoted by these points over here. We're looking for price to start trading back above the 87.790, which is the key level of support over here. You can see we broke down and we're now acting resistance. And what we want to see is this fail as a resistance area and price to start trading up into this area over here. And if we get that kind of price action, we're going to be looking to initiate longs. We're going to be looking for bullish formation patterns to appear in this area. And we're going to be looking to initiate longs. And we have a target to the upside on the Aussie Japanese yen of the 90 psychological area, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie Frank. Now, Aussie Frank has been an uptrend, as you can see, for quite a while. And we've had this corrective phase in the Aussie franc now for a couple of weeks. We are looking for a continuation now to the upside and a continuation of this move over here. And as you can see, we are currently sitting at a key level of support at the 0 0.76934 area. Now, what we're going to be looking for this week is for bullish formations and patterns to form in the lower time frames in the area where it sits now. And we're going to be looking to initiate longs up towards the target of the 0 0.78500, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair. And we expect this move to continue 
as it has done over here and for this consolidation period to finally break out. The next pair we're going to look at is Pound CAD. And now we're expecting some further advances in oil this week, so we are looking towards the Canadian dollar to be provided uh, some strength from that increase in the price of oil. Now at the same time, we're looking for some weakness in the pound. So Pound CAD could provide a nice opportunity this week to the downside as we trade the strong against the weak. Now the first target we have to the downside is the 1.63988, which is the next key area of support to the downside in this pair, as you can see, tested a number of times over here, very well defined support area. And below this next key level of support, we are looking down towards the psychological numbers for a second target at the 1.6300. And we have an overall target to the downside at the 1.6200 psychological area, which is the lowest key area of support on this pair and which could provide a bounce and a turnaround in this pair. So we're looking to trade through these targets this week and where we're looking to trade from is we have an initial resistance area as you can see well defined over here on the left at 1.65530. So we're looking at, at initiating shorts if we see the right kind of bearish formations and patterns appearing in this area trading down towards these targets down here. However, if we get a deeper pullback and we get a break above the 1.65530, we're going to look up towards the 1.66530 as the next key area of resistance on this pair where we can start to look for bearish formations and patterns to form and we can start to look to initiate shorts from this area. And finally this week we come to the pound yen. Now again in the pound yen we're looking to capitalize on the weakness from last week's data coming out of the UK and we're looking now to having broken down below the key area of support at the 144.167. We're looking for a pullback and we're looking for a retest either of the downward sloping trend line or previous support level being tested as resistance. And if we get that kind of price action we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear in this area here. And if we get a pullback to this area and we get those right kind of bearish formations and patterns in the lower time frames, we're going to look to initiate shorts on the pound yen and we're going to be looking to trade down towards the 143 psychological level, which is the next key area of support on this pair. So that is it from me for this week, guys. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend and a great week last week. Again, apologies for not being able to get the Forex forecast out on Sunday when I was traveling. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. If you did enjoy the video, as always, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you have a very profitable week this week. Take care and trade safely.